Hello and welcome to our new chapter number 23 for Azure uh, Support Academy, episode number two. In this new video, we are going to talk about uh, an error message uh, when our database is not currently available. My name is Jose Manuel Jurado. I am a Scalation Engineer in working in Microsoft and Science Matter Expert in this technology. This, situation, this issue happened for three main reasons. The first thing is because we have a connectivity transient issue. Something happened with the node, with the database, etc. We have a reconfiguration, means that we need to move the database to another node for any specific reason. And finally, it's when we apply a maintenance plan in order to uh, update, this, uh, update um, the node, uh, update the service pack, or apply any security uh, patch that we need. How to find that we have a reconfiguration or we have an issue? We are going to show you in the next uh, demo about how to find this using resource health or activity log from the portal. And finally, it's how to fix. Well, we are going to show you in the next demo about how to implement a connectivity retry logic. As we mentioned before, we are going to use the portal in order to detect if we have any reconfiguration or any Windows maintain plan, etc. Basically, in order to review what happened with my database, I need to go to the portal, use uh, click in the resource health, and I'm going to have all the information about what happened with my database. As you could see here, we have an one health uh, events that we have some information uh, about what happened. Okay. Also, uh, we could create, uh, if you want to have a uh, receive an email when something happened with your database, basically is try to enable um, uh, this uh, alert rule that you could specify what happened with my database, uh, the different event that we have, when the, the event was available, the grade or not available. So is, this is one thing that we could have. And also other option that we have is to go to directly to the activity log in activity log, also we are going to see this same status. Okay, so we are going to uh, re review the situation. We could click here and we could find so other very useful information about what happened with my with my database. Well, in order to reproduce the issue, 
we are going to use the same application that we are using for the different demonstrations. Uh, we are going to run the application and we are going uh, to explain this. Well, the most important thing as we mentioned, is every time that uh, you are going to use to or to connect to a database, is you need to implement your retry logic. In this case, uh, every time that I try to connect to uh, to the database, I'm going to use my my SQL uh, my connection string. Okay, so as as I mentioned, I'm going to use. Um, application name etc and i'm going to try uh, i'm going to have i'm going to try five times the connection and every time that uh, i try to connect i'm going to increase the unspecific uh, wait type uh, multiplied by uh, 1.5 for example if the first connection is fine i'm going to wait anything if, this, if, if the first connection is giving an error or I'm not able to connect, or for example, I have, as you could see, multiple error message like uh, 400, sorry, 406613, uh, like is uh, when we have a transient, uh, uh, transient uh, issue. Um, I'm going to wait uh, five seconds and I'm going to retry the connection after another five seconds, in this case, 10, 50, uh, 15, uh, 20, 25, etc., until reach one minute. So I'm going to, right now, as you can see here, I'm going to uh, remove the breakpoint. So as you can see, my connection is working well. I don't have any, any issues. You can see here, it's very fast. The connection is still running well. So I'm going, and I'm going to have, an, I'm going to reproduce an issue in my database right now. So the database, as you could see here, something is happening. Uh, um, right now, I receive an error uh, that my database is not available. I'm going to wait for 10 seconds, 15 seconds, 20 seconds, uh, 30 seconds until I'm able to connect again. So this is the, the most important thing when you are uh, connecting to Azure SQL database, manage instance is to implement the retry logic. Okay, thank you so much for attending these sessions. If you have any questions, please send an email to gmjurado at microsoft.com.